yeah. Um, so Kendra, how did you decide to develop this story? What was the inspiration for developing it? So Anna Heat and I, we were paired together um, to, to make something. And we were both at a loss for like a good four or five days until actually the day before uh, our ideas were due. <laughs> so that's Sunday, like five weeks ago. And I, uh, she brought up something about one of my relationships and she's like, okay, but like, get this. What if there's a long distance relationship and one of them is in England and one of them is in California? I'm like, okay, but wait. <laughs> and so I told her the story of how me and my boyfriend um, met and all the crazy shenanigans that have led up to that. And then told her a little bit about like uh, how I'm Polly and like why I'm Polly. Um, and then we started, like, we had like a brain blast moment from Jimmy Neutron and it just, the first like four scenes just kind of like spilled out of us that night and we fleshed it out. And it was then when we decided, um, to divvy out, uh, who's going to write what scene about what character. And so some of the, some of the characteristics are actually based on, um how like my speech patterns with my partners and they were also taken from like uh like how someone would you know how i think someone would react uh about you know being cheated on and stuff like that because i've been cheated on and it's not a fun feeling um and i would never want to make someone feel that way and so I put myself in the shoes of these characters while also taking inspiration from the good parts of my relationships and kind of turning it into a little tapestry. Great, thank you. Thank you very much. <laughs> All right, Anahid. So, Anahid, you've developed three projects. Oops, Oops. there you um, are. I think, uh, well, the first one was with Kendra and it was mainly, it was mainly Kendra's idea. I just helped her with the first, like two, for two of the scripts, okay. the rest she's been doing. So props to her. It's been, I, so far from what, I, what I've seen, I, it's great. She's doing a great job. Um, then we did, we're, we're doing veggie pets. So I got, I, Lisa and Kendra and I was like, what, what's a good business? for a mockumentary because I love mockumentaries. I think it's a really funny and cool way of um, doing comedy. And it's, I've always find, I find most mockumentaries just hilarious when they're com um, comedies, com comedic mockumentaries. So I, I was really inspired by um, The Office. What else? There was this one called we Real Bros of Simi Valley, which is like a YouTube, which started off of, you know, started on YouTube and it's now on Facebook and it's become this huge thing. And I said, and I was thinking, why don't we just do this office type where everyone's just a weird character and it's a failing um, business. And then it was either Kendra or Lisa and they said, oh, why don't we do like a, like a food, pet food, vegan pet food. I think it was Kendra. And I was like, that is such a great idea. And then it all, that's when it all just came together. Uh, and then we started just doing the script writing and it's, that's where we are now. <laughs> it's, it's been really fun. And which was, what was the other one? I think it was just, it's just. These, what about the toilet one? Oh, the toilet one. I was just, uh, I just volunteered to be the voice for it. It was okay. all Lisa for that one. Yeah. Okay. All right. <laughs> Thank you very much. Yeah. All right. McKenna. Oh. So, wait, can you, oh, you can speak. Yeah. So both of you talk to me about your involvement with these pro, with the projects thus far and what you, what voice that you bring to the projects in terms of its development. So when we first, um, like, we're like, develop, like thinking of what to do for a thing and stuff, uh, Lisa just like, fever dream stuff and we're like, okay, 
and then we kind of just worked off from that random idea and and so at one point so we said the the talking toilet thing and then we also mentioned uh like a a bunch of stuffed animals i think it came to a dream to lisa and then from that we were like well what if we just do it where it's like there's the one thing that's like connecting it is just like all the things is just like there's some like inanimate object that is talking back mm -hmm. So that's kind of like the one thing that like stays consistent in uh, all of the four episodes that are gonna be here. Yeah. But um, so like we try to do a little bit of improv, but then we did like for the the last two, those are probably gonna be scripted a little bit more. Like we already have like, but it's supposed to be kind of like a break from all the like. Normal, 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 normal. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's supposed to just be like so, like you're just like watching it. Yeah. What is this? <laughs> it's supposed to kind of be like, and that's what we like worked off of from there. That's why like the bed's gonna be like, and then the the plants. The plants supposed to be really bossy and like rude, actually. Mm -hmm. So anything, anything to add, Sky? Um, no, I think McKenna summed it up pretty well. I think it's just a, like a, like she said, it's a little break from the, um, like coherent shorts. Um, Man, yeah, and um, it's just it's a lot of fun. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> well, there's a lot to be said for entertainment. So, as long as it entertains and engages. Yeah, yeah exactly. it's just supposed to be like some like, you know, just like odd, oddalities, like mm -hmm. kind of just like an acid trip. I don't know if that's how acid trip sounds like. Yeah, sure. I, I, yeah, I believe that kind of uh, journey is uh, synonymous with uh, LSD. Yeah. Okay. All right. Thank you very much. All right. Let's get our Game Boys. Giancarlo and crew. Testing, microphone check, testing. One, okay. Two, ah, you are back, James. Yes. Okay. So, um, Giancarlo and Stephen and Sina and James, uh, can you elaborate on the <laughs> development of your web series? Jean-Carlo, I know you've taken the leadership role, mm -hmm. but um, but uh, let it, I'll let you lead this, and then everyone else can add what they may like to add about their character's development. Okay. Uh, so yeah, the way this all kind of started off is we were all kind of having like a hard time um, finding kind of something that would work along with COVID and just doing video calls and stuff like that. And it wasn't until um, I went on YouTube and I remembered this one, I um, uh, forget what series it's called. I think it's uh, Video Game High School. It's this one YouTube web series also. And it's, uh, they do it in live action and so on and so forth. But um, the main point was I got inspired with their idea of video games. And from there, I thought it would still be easier and maybe it would function a lot better if we could just overlay gameplay with commentary and that's where the original idea was coming from now um after talking with the guys here for a little bit i understood that it was going to be hard and difficult to try and record gameplay and have them uh you know react to it um if they did it on their own so what we did instead is we kind of dialed that back a little bit and only made it so that was just like quick snippets of it and it would be more focused on an overarching story um focusing on the character that james plays um who's called james which ironically enough um and so basically it's more or less focusing on the relationship behind um people that play video games and sometimes it's not always just clean and cut uh sometimes it can be a little bit uh difficult to kind of understand that world so we're 
just coming here to try and explore it a little bit. Yeah, and when it comes to the process, like I'm very thankful to like John Carlo for doing everything because like recording gameplay and editing is so hard. Like I don't play video games, so I don't have any systems to like record and edit as well. And writing story too, it's all John Carlo's idea, and I'm very thankful for that. That he's very you know patient and creative with this because this is hard stuff like mixing in gameplay and voicing over that that's very hard so i think yeah. i thank you for editing dude appreciate yeah. it it was a it was a real challenge because Cinna and, and i had a very different idea for how to do the video game show it was more like sort of like from sort art online kind of style of the show but then we listened to john carl's idea that it sounds much better so we yeah. thank john carl yeah. Appreciate it, but um, to be honest, I can't really take all the credit for how well it's actually coming out also, because um, the way that we also wanted to do this originally was a little bit more improvised, uh, a little bit more improvising, uh, improvisation, that word, the one I can't pronounce right now. <laughs> Thank you, Sinem. Uh Yes, so we were thinking about originally doing something more along the lines like that, where it's just very in the moment, kind of like reacting as they are. Um, and we kind of kept a little bit of that. So anytime that we're going through the script, anytime that we are kind of doing a revision, like we'll go through it a couple of times and then they'll add their own personality and character and really just bring the story to life. Yeah. Uh, Cause it's not just like characters that they play. It's like them as the characters in that world. And I think that's what adds another layer of um, realism to it. Yeah. What makes it real when we play those games is that it really feels more naturally if we, yeah, it's naturally react to a certain sequence rather than reading a script as we are playing. So it makes it feel like we are playing a video game. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I like the, uh, <clears throat> I love the back and forth between uh, me and James, like how I kept picking on him a lot. I just, uh, I thought that was like really funny. And I also liked, you know, uh, Steven's character, he was sort of like, you know, just like, following by my side and we were just sort of like going back and forth off of each other that's what the best part about this whole thing was was just the um we were just going off of each other and um that's what made it fun it, ma it made it feel less scripted and more uh it's like oh it's a, a couple of guys playing together online thank you very much gentlemen <laughs>